Hi, I'm Roger from Evanex. We're here in the parking lot with our Model 3. If you take a quick look at it, you'll notice that it looks pretty normal, with the singular exception of our chrome trunk applique, which has become pretty popular. But overall, it's just a standard rear end for a Model 3. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been hard at work developing what we think will be one of our most important products, a real carbon fiber spoiler for Model 3. We'd like to walk you through the making of a carbon fiber spoiler. But to do that, we're going to have to go about 11 miles south of here to work with one of our expert carbon fiber fabricators so that you can see just how you go about designing and then building a spoiler for one of the coolest cars on the planet. Before we talk about the making of a carbon fiber spoiler for Model 3. It's worth discussing the simple design criteria that we used to define just how we were going to make it. First, the spoiler would be defined in a way that spans the entire width of the trunk hatch. That means that it would follow the lateral curvature of the rear edge of the hatch down to the panel gaps that separate the hatch surface from the upper rear fender surface. Second, the spoiler would be designed to extend the concave curvature of the rear facing surface of the trunk hatch. That's where the Tesla T resides. Emphasizing that curvature in a subtle yet noticeable way. And third, the spoiler front to back width would blend into the downward sloping longitudinal curvature of the upper trunk hatch surface so that a side view allows the eye to follow the rear hatch glass across the hatch itself and into the spoiler without any discontinuity. Now let's visit our fabrication vendor to understand how we make a carbon fiber spoiler for Model 3. Hey there everybody, Alan Ioso with G3 Carbon. We partnered with Evanex, one of the foremost Tesla accessories manufacturers in the United States to bring you one of the first Tesla Model 3 custom spoilers. So what we've got here is the first stage of trying to capture the shape of the rear deck lid. One of the most difficult things is to figure out where all the lines fall, especially on a car that's as unique as the Model 3. One of the things that we noticed early was the car has almost a very subtle double hump at the edges of the back window and we wanted to make sure when we de developed and we designed the, the rear spoiler that it, it pulled those accent features, the things that made the car unique, pulled it into the design of the spoiler. So this was the first phase where we sort of roughed it out with all, with all Bondo and then we chiseled it, we hammered it a little bit, we sanded it. We got ourselves to a good dimensional outline and that gave us a place to go when we had what was the next step we had was our actual styrofoam plug. The styrofoam is nice because you can shape it in almost unlimited ways with sandpaper. It doesn't take a lot of effort. There's no dry time or any of that stuff. And because you can, you can massage it and shape it pretty much any way you want, it gives you a very smooth, clean finish from which to work and build. So if you notice, we started with the center section and once we had the center section, we let everything flow from the center of the car out. Obviously, we're looking for, for symmetry. We, you know, we wanna be as bilaterally symmetrical as we can. Now we've got a more fully formed spoiler. From here, we've applied a chemical over top of the styrofoam. And what it does is it allows us to work Bondo and fiberglass directly to the styrofoam. If you don't use this particular chemical, what happens is the styrenes in the resins attack the styrofoam and turns it into gel. So now we've got our hard candy shell, sort of like an M&M basically, only maybe less tasty. And from here, we do all of the final shaping and the final just setting, we're basically setting up, it's your final shaping. So if you look at this compared to where we ended up, you can see it's got lumps and bumps and it's got some waves in it, but this gives us a good starting point. What you're looking at now is our original foam plug that's been coated with a chemical that allows us to work directly over it. And it's got Bondo that we build up and we reshape until it's exactly what we want. From there, we'll get our shape set, we'll remove it from the car, and then we'll start the mold manufacturing process that allows us to build a flange and we're gonna build a two-piece mold. 
So you'll have an upper piece and a lower piece. And when we make carbon fiber parts, as always, it's gonna be 100% carbon fiber. So it'll be bonded together, it'll fit on top of the car, wet sanded, polished, clear coated for UV protection, and it'll be ready to go and ready to roll. You should be able to install these out of the box with no additional modifications necessary. We're not gonna require any drilling through the deck lid, so you can use 3M double-sided tape, and it'll stay in place for years to come. So if you guys That concludes part one of the making of a carbon fiber spoiler for Model 3. In part two, we'll talk a bit about mold making, final prototyping, and if we're lucky, you'll get a reveal on our custom design carbon fiber spoiler for the coolest car on the planet.